Hey everybody, in this video we're just going to quickly show how we can record head motion with our face wear captures using a MetaHuman in Unreal Engine. This is going to be part one of a two-part tutorial. In this portion we'll just deal with getting the recording done. In part two we'll show how to play that back properly in Unreal Engine. So I've got a face wear studio set up that's working here. I'll hit play. The neutral pose has already been calculated. We're playing back and getting our data out and uh, streaming is on. So that's rolling and this will continue to run throughout this tutorial. So I'm just going to move that to my other screen so we can focus on working with Unreal Engine here. So here's my MetaHuman character. Drag, uh, he's already dragged and dropped into my level and if I click on him to select we can see all the components here and so we're going to configure this default MetaHuman so that he's ready to record both face animation and head animation and so we'll start by selecting the face component by default when we look down here under the animation section it says face NMBP we need to change this to receive face wear data so I'll just click on here in the search I'm going to type in FW and that'll narrow the search down and I'll have this uh, ABP and that is face wear metahuman face so that is the correct one to choose for the face component now to get the neck motion recorded we'll also need to put a similar blueprint in place for the body so I'm going to select body change this from animation asset to animation blueprint and then in this list again I'm going to click here up in the search type in FW and this time we're going to choose FW metahuman body and so now this will configure the body to receive motion, neck motion, head motion from Facewear itself. Now again, Facewear is already running and transmitting data. So if I hit play, we should see that happening here. And indeed, we're getting some head motion, just a little bit, but it's in there. And so now this is something we can record with our take recorder. So I'll go ahead and open the take recorder window, window, cinematics, take recorder. And I set this up earlier, if I'm just going to remove this from Take Recorder. So when you first open Take Recorder, you have nothing here. Make sure your actor in the level is selected. Choose Source from Actor, and then the actor that you have selected. And then in here, the only thing we need to record is the face animation. So if I select this, you can see that by default down here, we have everything related to that blueprint is selected, and that's way more information than we actually need. So I'm just going to uncheck this so that there's nothing set up, and then scroll down and look for face, and then check on animation. And that's all we're going to need to record. We don't need to record anything else, it's just face, animation. And that's all we need. So I'll go ahead and record this, scene one, take one, and hit record, three, two, one. We'll wait for one cycle. There it is. And I'll hit stop, and our take is in. So we'll want to finish by restoring our MetaHuman to the way we found it. Uh, we've got our recording, so I can close the take recorder, close the sequencer, stop our simulation, and meanwhile I can drag Facewear back in here and stop its playback as well. Put that away. And uh, we can bring our MetaHuman back to the way we found it just by selecting it in the scene. Go back to body, change this from animation blueprint to animation asset, and change face to the animation blueprint for the face. So I'll just type in the word face and face and MVP. And uh, so that's back to the way it started. And uh, just as one final check before we close out this video and move on to the next, is that we'll just take a look at our uh, recorded animation. So that'll be in the cinematics folder, takes, we'll find the current date, down in sub scenes, animation, and there is the recorded animation file. I'll double click on that. And let's just rotate here and we should see some head animation. There we go, we've got head movement and we're good to go. So we know we have the data in here. In the next video, we'll show how to use that in playback. Hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.